Hi guys, we're Ride46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride4 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. We are going on to Stock 600 Cup in the World League. And uh, we'll see how we get on with this one. We've already done loads of 600s already. But uh, the first one is a French Riviera, which we've yet to do on this game. And we're using the Honda CBR 600 R in Repsol colours. So let's head over and get this one underway at French Riviera. Oh, it's raining. It is raining. Now, I have still got everything turned off. Traction control is off. Anti-wheelie is off. Uh, engine braking is off. Okay. Let's see how we get on. So, th this, uh, this track it wasn't in ride three, but it was in the first two rides. So, it's good to, to come back to it. Oh, nearly into the barrier. That was close. That was very close. So currently in second position. Out of the tunnel. In the lead. See uh, if we can pull away. So we don't have to worry about the track drying out or anything. The only thing we do kind of have to worry about is the fact that... Oh, steady now. Um, is the fact that the tyres may wear out. But we'll have to wait and see what actually happens. So, Okay. So far so good though. We've got 0.3 of a second lead. I do remember how, where this track goes as well. Which is obviously always a bonus. It's not ideal coming here in the wet though. It would be better in the dry but... It is what it is. We've just been hit as well. Are we about to lose the lead? Yes, we are. Back down to second position. Oh, oh, I, th oh, I think he went down, actually. I think he went down. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, that's too hot into that. So, still second position. We've lost a bit of time there. through here then we got a kink coming up yeah we did I was way too hot into there though so I've messed the kink up as well we've lost loads of time three quarters of a second behind the leader now that's not good that is not good at all yeah the bike just wants to wheelie at the moment so we're having to go careful the the start is probably the most stressful thing just because we're uh, struggling to, to keep the front end down. But yeah, we will have to uh, see if we can still do a good job. So still 0.7 to the leader at the moment. The rear is trying to step out a little bit, but not too bad. down to turn four. Oh, nearly into the side of the cliff there. That was very close. We are closing back in on the leader. Careful with the wall. So run lap two of five. We've got five races to do in this category. We're on him. This is where... Well, the next corner is where we lost the lead last time. So, uh, let's see if we can get back past. Uh, not yet. Not able to yet. Ooh. Right, let's see if we can stick with him now because uh, in a minute that is where we kind of lost quite a bit of time. It's coming out of here. 
We're a bit too hot into here last time, uh, which compromised the kink, but that was much better. That was much better. We didn't lose nearly as much time that time, so that's fine. Still only 0.3 behind. He was a little bit wide through there, and that has allowed me to close back in. Come on, here we go into the lead. Nicely done. So, end of lap two. We lead to the line as well. Oh. So, yeah, even if we uh, come out of the final corner. Oh, wow, he came blasting through that. We're back down a second. But yeah, we know that we can get him come out of the final corner. And we can get him to the line as well. So lap three of five. Up the inside. Nice. Come on. This track is a good track in the in the dry. In the wet we're having to go careful just because we've got no assists on whatsoever. And staying in the lead, that's fine. Staying in the lead, okay. All good. 7 of a second lead we've got at the moment so uh, we're actually starting to pull away which is not what I was expecting so we're 0.8 slower than my best time so far which uh, is a bit strange considering we are pulling away so uh, yeah we're not exactly getting quicker but we are indeed pulling away although he has caught me back up so the gap is back down to 0.3 Oh, that was uh, not good judgment on my behalf there. Yeah, we're going a lot slower now. 1.8 slower. This is where he went wide last time. We still lead. We still lead. We've got two laps to go. But it's not a comfortable lead. That's the thing. It's under a second. At least with no traction control, the rear isn't stepping out as much as I thought it was going to, especially in the wet. So I think we're going to be fine there. So 1.3 at the moment. To turn four. Yeah, our, our lead has gone up a huge amount, actually. It's nearly two seconds now. I'll tell you what, I've literally just realised that uh, that little pub that we've just gone past, or little nightclub, is actually playing music. You can hear the bass as you go past it. It's literally the first lap I've noticed that. It might be because I'm actually by myself now, so... Uh, yeah, it might be uh, the reason why. All good so far. This is uh, turning out better than expected, to be honest. I haven't crashed yet. There's still time, of course. But the rear is gripping more than I was expecting, so that is a bonus. Happy about that. Very happy about that. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is where we need to try and... Uh, I think this is a section where we're losing the most time. Yeah, that was better. That was better. That was much better. 
still 1.7 slower than my uh, best time. Right, we've got one lap to go. I'll tell you what, second place is changing. Second place has changed. It was Lou. But Lou is not even in the top three anymore. So uh, is this that the, the AI is starting to get quicker now? It could possibly be. We're going to have to go careful. Because we may find ourselves being caught on this final lap. And that's not what I want to happen. We want to win. We'll keep an eye on the gap. It's 1.7 at the moment. Okay, down towards the, the little nightclub. Let's see if we can hear the music again. Yeah, you can. <laughs> nice. Okay, gap is back up to two seconds because second place has actually changed again. So they're having a fierce battle back there in second position. I'm quite happy out front though. Quite happy doing my own thing. I will continue doing that and uh, hope that it's going to be enough. It's fine. It's all fine. We are going to come round and finish lap five in the lead. Having to go careful with the throttle, of course, because I don't want to completely mess it up we don't want to be doing that that would be a disaster okay nearly there nearly there the gap has come down quite a bit but we've only got a few corners to go it's one second the gap so we've almost lost a second in one sector there down towards the hairpin for the final time. Through the final corner. And run to the line. We are going to win. The gap is under a second, so we were being caught. We were being caught. And there we go. We done it. We done it. Well, happy about that. I wasn't sure whether we were going to be able to do that one, but um, we've done it. So, uh, gold for us. Nice. Got access to the lightweight group. That's good. Okay. We should be uh, unlocking Super Motard soon as well. On to the next one. So here we go, the full Kanto circuit. Still got everything turned off. Let's see how we get on. Here we go, careful, careful, careful. That was okay, that was an okay start. We're immediately into fourth position, maybe even be able to take the lead here actually. And we do. We do take the lead. Oh, the rear already sliding about. That's not a good uh, good start, really, is it? If the rear's already sliding about, that doesn't pose very well for the remainder of the race. We're going to have to go careful. The rear, I was really surprised at how well it gripped in the wet. And even when the tyres were degrading, um, yeah, didn't really seem like it was going to go at any time, so... That was uh, not bad at all. So, I don't think we've actually done the full circuit yet on this game. I know where it goes, so that's not a problem. But I just don't think I've actually done it on this game yet. We've done the two different variations of it. We've already got a one second lead, but usually this is the sector where they usually close me back down because it does uh, get a bit tight and twisty through here. There's a relatively long lap 
doing the full circuit as well. Yeah, this is where we usually get caught a little bit. This next corner is where we sort of fly in Suzuki. Not this time. Okay. So, this is all well and good at the moment. But the extra bit we got coming up is uh, in a few corners time. That was fine. So usually, or the previous races we've done, we just go right here. But we've got to go left at the bridge. Usually we just go right and uh, straight up towards the finish line. But um, yeah, we've got to come down here now. And then we've got to obviously just finish this section and then we will end up towards the start finish line. We've already got a two second lead. A little bit concerned about tyres though because uh, my rear tyre is not looking good. It's already on 66%. We haven't even finished the first lap so I've nearly used half of my rear tyre in the first lap. Front tyre is actually, you know, a decent temperature. The rear tyre apparently is still cold. As it always seems to be on this game. So we go. End of lap one and we are... Three seconds up. That was really weird then because we went over the line. It said I had a one second lead but then it shot back up to three. Don't know what happened there but... Doesn't matter. We lead... And we lead well. So we haven't got to worry about being caught on this one, I don't think. The Honda's actually feeling really good. The CBR 600 double R. It is feeling good. I was kind of expecting this one to, to almost feel like one of the slowest ones that I've used so far. But it feels absolutely fine. Handles well. Power's not too bad. Oh, oh! Just hit the curb there, but we managed to stay on, so we got away with that. Because the first lap was literally just under three minutes. It's a 2.59.1. This one will obviously be a bit quicker because we are not on a standing start for this one. Wait, what the? Look at the guy's name in third place. <laughs> what is going on with his name there? <laughs> I think... Uh... <laughs> that is not the actual rider's name, but what the hell? Obviously, that was just a, a placeholder to actually put a name in there. <laughs> oh, my God. I've literally just realised that because I looked at second place before he's got quite a long name and then looked at the, the name below which is all in capitals has got underscores in it <laughs> it's like uh, that infamous Hitman bit of uh, text I can't remember what Hitman game it was but there was an item that if you picked it up the, the description of it was Alan please add details <laughs> I think we've got one of them in this game for third place at the moment. <laughs> the fact that it has name at the end of that name suggests to me that someone's forgotten to put a name in that one. <laughs> I know in like Road 3 when it used to take people's gamer tags from online to, to obviously put to, to the AI so it was almost like you were racing against real people all the time but uh, that's not this kind of situation because you're against the AI they have preset names and that is not a name <laughs> it's literally the only one as well everyone else has got a, a name and that one is just all in, all in caps lock how bizarre how bizarre. I didn't notice that in the first race, actually. I didn't really take too much notice of the names in the first race. So maybe 
Now, surely I would have noticed if there was someone like that in the first race. Surely I would have done. Anyway, that has uh, tickled me, that's for sure. Great name anyway. Milestone, if you're listening, just keep that name in, please. <laughs> keep it in. Alright, so our lead is 4.6 seconds. So yeah, we're not going to be touched at all here. Rear tyre, still a little bit concerned about. Um, yeah, I don't know how much longer it's going to last. I'm hoping it will last the remainder of the race, but we've still got another two and a half laps to go. And uh, it's uh, in the 20%, which is not good. Not good at all. So looking at 27% at the moment, and uh, yeah, two and a half laps to go. Not ideal. Front is okay, feeling fine. Good temperature as well. Okay, down towards the bridge. Yes, nice. Dare I try and break into the bridge a little bit later next time? Maybe. I think we could get away with it a little bit later on the brakes. Right, so we're nearly at the end of lap three, which means we've got two more laps to go. Third place, the German guy has unfortunately uh, dropped at least one position because he's no longer in third. All right. A few corners left to go of this lap. Then we've got two to go. We've got 21% of our rear tyre left. So by the time we get to the start-finish line on this lap, we'll probably have 20% of the rear tyre left, which gives us 10% per lap for the remainder of the laps. So yeah, 20% left now. Yes, we have... 10% each for each lap. Come on, we can do this. Don't run out of tyre. It is starting to uh, squirm a little bit more under acceleration now. Four and a half second lead. So our lead isn't actually going up much at all now. It's kind of got to four and a half seconds and pretty much stuck there. It's my best first sector. Best first sector so far. Oh, oh hit the curb again. Very lucky to get away with it. I don't think we are going to have 10% of the rear tyre left per lap because we've only got 15% left now for the rema remainder of this lap. So we've got 5% left. We've used half of our allocation for this lap. Oh, we might just get away with it. What is going to happen when we our tyre goes down to zero? Because it doesn't feel like the, the tyre is completely dropped off a cliff yet. We still have grip, so it's not unmanageable okay still got four second lead okay. oh no 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 oh no we clipped the curb we clipped the curve. That is not good. We've gone down and we pulled a massive wheelie as well. Oh dear. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong now. Our massive lead that we had. Good job we had a massive lead because that has certainly come down now to only 0.3 of a second. We have got some work to do. Oh, have I thrown it away? Have I thrown it away because we are nearly out of rear tyre? We've got 11% of the rear tyre remaining. And we've still got one whole lap to go. 
I think we're going to run out. We're, I think we're going to get onto 0% of the rear tyre in the final lap. It's currently at 11. Now it's at 10. So by the time we get to the start finish, I think it will be on 9. Oh, this is sketchy. But again, the rear tyre seems to be gripping absolutely fine at the moment. Yeah, 9%. We're going to drop down to 0% for this tyre on this final lap. We've got a 1.2 second lead. So we have managed to pull away again. Right, let's see if we can get that rear tyre down to 0. Let's see what happens. See how it feels. It's already on 8%. One point four second lead as it stands. Okay. Well, so far so good because we're point two quicker. Um, so that is my best first split so far because on the previous lap we were a tenth quicker. Oh, bit of a wheelie there. Gap. Momentarily, it was up to two seconds. Still on seven percent for the rear tire. Now it's just gone to uh, just gone to six. Actually, I think we are just going to get away with this. I don't think we're actually going to hit zero percent on this lap. I think we're just going to get away with it. We're probably going to end with one percent of the rear tire left. Unless it's really slowed down its uh, the the amount it's wearing out, which could be a possibility actually. Yeah, we got what 17, 16 percent left of the front, five percent left of the rear. I don't think we are going to get to zero, but let's not crash again. Stay away from that inside curb. Slide in a little bit, but nothing we can't can't control. Okay, here we go. How are we looking? Oh, it's gone red around the outside on the little diagram. We got four percent left. So then, the tire is in the danger zone apparently. Still got a two second lead. And this is my fastest lap so far yet. Which just goes to show. I've not actually lost that much grip of this rear tyre. Considering we got 3% left. We're not going to get to zero. We're probably going to get to two. And that's going to be it. Is this going to be my fastest lap? So the best lap I've done so far. Is uh, 255.7. Let's see what it says when we get to the results. But we nearly threw that one away. 255-1. That was my fastest lap of the race on the final lap with a completely knackered rear tyre. So yeah, we didn't actually lose much grip at all in that race, to be fair. Other races, we lose grip quite quickly. But that one, that one was absolutely fine. Right. Imatra is next. Let's go. So this track was first introduced in Ride 3. I don't mind this one. It's not too bad. See how we go. I have actually had to put Anti Wheelie up to 1. Because I have had a few attempts at this. And the bike around here is horrendous with Anti Wheelie turned off. Coming out of the chicanes... It just pogos. It is horrible. So you can't get any drive out of the uh, the chicanes. And it was just becoming a pain in the ass. So anti-wheelie is back on one. And it's already feeling much better. We're still going to be wheelieing in that. It's just not going to be as bad as what it has been. And uh, yeah. I was just getting fed up of the, the front just pogoing all over the place. Even when you get it back on the ground as soon as you touch a throttle just a little bit 
just springs back up in the air. So we're second place at the moment as we go into the chicane. And that's not the lead. Oh, it may be. No, it's not. A different person came through. Well, we've got it now. We have got it now. All right. That's fine. So there was as the last couple of corners on this track on ride three you used to be able to hear ducks quacking. So it'd be interesting to see if we can hear them now. Although it is obviously night time, so they might be sleeping. Oh, we've lost the lead as well. The frame rate is not liking this. Couldn't hear any ducks. Could not hear any ducks, but like I said, they might be sleeping. It is like 20 past 7 in the evening in game time. Right, we need to try and figure out where to break for turn 1. We have got some boards here. What? He put the wrong leg out. What's he doing? Well, I think we can go a bit later next time. Too early on the brakes there, but I just want to make sure we got it stopped. Maybe we can break at the 200 metre board. And there's two different places he puts the wrong leg out. That reminds me of MotoGP 20 um, at Kimi Rink before the game was updated. Going into the uh, the hairpin of turn 5, uh, which is a right hand hairpin. And under braking, the rider used to stick his left leg out instead of his right. Which is very, very weird to see because uh, it confused a lot of people, including myself, when I uh, done my first ever lap around Kimi Ring. But uh, they did eventually patch it, so they did get sorted eventually. We're not pulling away this time. We are not pulling away. We've only got a tenth of a second lead. Oh, he's into the barrier there. Yeah. I think he went down. Well, he did try turning it on me. Bounced off. And that was uh, the result. A face full of barrier. I'm going to lose the lead again, I think. Maybe not. God, the frame rate is horrendous into that corner. So 0.7 of a second lead. That is good. I'm looking forward to the, the last race in this category because we do go to Phillip Island. So looking forward to going to that track because I love Phillip Island. Um, love it on MotoGP. Know the track very well. So yeah, looking forward to going to that one. Don't know what's going up with uh, sticking the wrong legs out. So, 0.3, not a huge lead at all. We've still got some work to do. Oh boy, howdy, we've got some work to do. So pretty much worked out my braking marker for this chicane just after the 200 meter board. This one, yeah, just before the 100 metres. Just about get the bike stopped. Well, I'll tell you what, we've actually pulled away quite a bit now. We've got a 9 tenths of a second lead. That soon shot up. I'm going to keep an eye out for ducks because I've still not heard any ducks yet. I uh, can't hear any. Can't hear any. Okay, we have got two laps to go. Two laps to go of this track. 
so try and break just after the 200 meter board yes beautiful beautiful down towards the chicane stick the wrong leg out yeah so we go right first and then left and then right the only thing I can think of is that they've uh, made it so that he's getting his leg ready for the left part of the uh, the S's through there So gap is back up to 0.6. Are we doing tyre wise? Oh, tyres are fine. Tyres are absolutely fine. Don't need to worry about tyres in this one. Yeah, gap is up to over a second now. That was fine. This one's going pretty well, actually. A lot better now that I've uh, turned anti-wheelie on to one. Yeah, like I said, just around here, it seemed a hell of a lot worse than the previous two races that I'd done. It was just constantly... It wasn't just coming up a little bit either. It was just it was basically just trying to backflip all, all the bloody time. It didn't matter what corner I was coming out of. The front was just going, see you later. I want to go to the sky. One lap to go. One lap to go. That was my fastest lap as well by 1.3 seconds. I think the rear tyre is like hardly degrading at all. It's literally gone down 1% in the, the last half a lap or so or even more than that the tyres it's bizarre isn't it you do one race I'm on mediums as well which is what we used at uh, Canto and we literally just had the tiniest amount of uh, percentage left for the rear tyre even though it was gripping absolutely fine and then we come here on mediums again I know it's night time and the tyres have hardly degraded at all. Strange. Alright, we haven't got the biggest of leads at the moment. And I know that they are quick in the last last half of the lap. So we need to uh, pull our finger out for the last few corners. Make sure we win this one. six at the moment that should be fine that should be enough oh no 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 nearly nearly threw it away in like the last few corners if that was ride three that would have been a crash that would have 100 percent been a crash right there we are gonna win but we nearly just had a, uh, a stupid crash by going over the curb. But we didn't. That's the thing. Oh, hang on. You've unlocked the new four-stroke lover title. First title. Unlock your first title. Tell you what, that's taken bloody ages to unlock a first title. Well, we've unlocked one. I'm not getting a hell of a lot of credits from these races, that's for sure. Considering how expensive some of the bikes are on this game, that's just... Yeah. Stupid. Right, penultimate race. Let's go. Right, let's go racing. Penultimate race. Penultimate race with the CBR 600 double R. Here we go. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Down towards turn number uno. Oh, can we sneak through there? 
Yeah, he's a little wide. He's a little wide and we are through into second place. Just behind Steady Eddie. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, this is the layout with the dodgy right hander, isn't it, that we're coming up to in a minute. Oh, it is as well. Okay, on the brakes. Here we go, please stay with me. Yep, the front end stayed with me then. I don't like that corner on this game. It fo feels horrible. It always feels like the, the front end just wants to fold through there. Even if you get it right, the vibrations you get just horrible. Oh, God, we are lucky not to get clobbered in the rear there. So coming to the end of lap one. Lap one nearly done. Five laps. Okay, so we've got 0.4 of a second lead. Oh, I had a horrible feeling we were going to get dive bombs. Wouldn't be the first time we got dive bombed into there before and knocked off track. Come on. Yeah, run to the dodgy right-hander. Didn't have that as an up-hand, up, uphill corner as well. Just got to go careful and pretty much just come completely off the front brake through there because otherwise you just tuck. And we're not pulling away. We're not pulling away at the moment. 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That seems to be where it is at the moment. Oh, that was a bit of a uh, cross up on the brakes. Nearly at the end of lap two, but uh, yeah, the guys behind aren't too far behind half a second at the moment. Through, that is on to lap three now. Oh, hang on. AI Rider is uh, back there. <laughs> but may maybe that, that um, placeholder name was in the first race. I just don't remember seeing it. It's definitely back now because I saw it momentarily in third position. Tires, yeah, they're fine. 54% left of the rear. That's probably about where it should be. Rafael Binder in second place. I wonder where they got that surname from. The Binder brothers. I think some of these names are influenced by uh, real life riders okay two laps to go we lead by 0.4 so again not a massive lead at the moment still got some work to do but I am looking forward to the next race not just because it's the final race of this category but because it is at Phillip Island which we've yet to play on this game yet. So Martra was one that I've not yet played, but we obviously have now. French Riviera as well was uh, one that I haven't played yet until this category. And uh, Phillip Island as well. So three tracks I've yet to play on this game. We would have done all three of them by the end of this category. I mean, Phillip Island is brand new to the ride series altogether. But obviously, been in uh, MotoGP for years. 
so I didn't know my way around it very well. Be interesting to see if uh, turn 10 on that game is going to be dodgy like it is in the MotoGP games. We shall have to wait and see. Well, this is going to be my best lap yet so far. If we can hold this to the line. Rear is starting to step out a little bit but still got 36% left. And we have one more lap to go. Let's do it. Yeah, that was my best lap by half a second. Come on then. Let's get it done. Let's get this race sorted and head towards Phillip Island for the finale of this category. And then next time, we can finally do Super Motard. Which... It's just a little bit weird that they kept it out of the regional licenses. I found that one a bit strange while well, they waited until the uh, the world license to, to do any sort of super motard. Same with endurance, I guess, because, uh, you know, you need to learn the endurance stuff, so... Even if it's just doing practice stuff in uh, the regionals. But nope. We must be close to unlocking the Superbike license and the Endurance license. Surely. Alright. We are going to win by nearly two seconds. There we go. One race to go, Phillip Island. I'm looking forward to the next race. I'm looking forward to it. Fastest lap. Only by about 0.4 of a second, though. We haven't gained access to the E-Ride Cup. Right, final race. Phillip Island. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Five laps. I'm actually going to put a hard rear tyre on because Phillip Island on Moto GP destroys the tyres. So, uh, yeah. I think uh, we'll, we'll try hard. It may be completely the wrong tyre choice, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, on Moto GP 20, the tyres around here do not last very well. So, uh, yeah, we'll do the best we can. Okay, we're up to third. Not quite up to second. A fellow Honda rider just ahead of us. Oh, oh, nearly into the back of him. He's in the way. Excuse me, please. Thank you very much. So second place now through Casey Stoner Corner. Down towards the Honda hairpin. Oh, sorry. Luckily, we both stayed on that. Yeah, through Siberia. Come on. Try and get the leader. We're 0.4 behind at the moment into Lukey Heights. Turn 10 is coming up next. Is it going to be dodgy? I'm not going to go stupid into here. No, I didn't feel too bad. The game wasn't really pushing too much into there. End of lap one. Second place at the moment. Try and get a good run through turn 12. And a good launch out onto the start finish straight. Which is exactly what we've done. Into the lead we go. We lead over the line. Let's see if we can pull away from him. At the moment we cannot. see what we can do is he going to keep me honest possibly I'll just keep pushing see what kind of lap times we can do on a 600 down towards Honda hairpin again 
Yeah, the bikes are stopping quite nicely for the hairpin. That was fine through Siberia as well. Six and a half seconds quicker than our first lap at the moment. That bodes very well. A little bit wide through Luki Heights, not too bad. Yep, spot on for turn 10. Right, three laps to go. And we are... We're pulling away, but not as much as I thought I was going to, to be fair. It's only 0.6 at the moment. I was kind of expecting to just be slaughtering them around here, but we are not. Six seconds quicker, so we actually lost a bit of time in the last sector. Let's see if we can go a bit quicker on this lap. Let's see if we can push a little bit more in the final sector, make up a bit more time. The gap is nearly one second to second position. Nice. Oh, oh, that was close. Rear stepped out a bit there. So we've used most of the bikes in the 600 category now. I know there's uh, a couple of, well, there's three R6s to use. We've used two of them. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a faster lap. We're 0.4 off at the moment. So my best lap time at the moment are 132.4. Yeah, 0.7 of a second lead. It doesn't seem to want to go over a second at the moment. Yeah, that was 0.7 slower. Wow, okay. So lost even more time in the final rate, the final uh, sector even. But this is the penultimate lap of the final race of this category. Yeah, Phillip Island feels good on the 600, that's for sure. That was a better first sector, only just off of my best first sector. Oh, trying to push a little bit too hard into Honda Hairpin. A little bit, well, way too wide, in fact. That's lost us time. That has lost us time. How much? Let's find out. A, a, a tiny bit. Not much at all, to be fair. So we are one-tenth of a second exactly slower than my previous lap at that point. See if we can push a bit more into turn 10. Yeah, well, it's working because we've gone green. We've gone green. Come on. Try and get a faster lap time. Through the final corner. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we have done it. I don't think we've bettered our time yet. No. Oh, we just missed out. Just less than a tenth of a second. Well, this is our last go at it. Tyres are fine. 55% of the rear tyre remaining. One and a half second lead over second place. So, yeah, we're not demolishing them like I thought we would. But uh, we are keeping a fairly steady rate. Yeah, that wasn't a good first sector. I don't think we are going to best our... Um, current best time at the moment we're not going to improve it doesn't matter we didn't really need to as long as we keep on a similar pace then we will win this one out of Siberia for the final time 1.7 second lead in 
to Lukey Heights for the final time. And then round down to turn 10 for the final time. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I tell you what, we made up loads of time, though. We are one thousandth of a second slower at the moment. But yeah, turn 10 seems absolutely fine with a 600. Absolutely fine into there. We're a little bit wide there. I think we haven't done it. So 32.494. We'll have to see what our best lap is overall. So 32, 32, 4, We did go a little bit quicker. A tiny bit quicker on that final lap. So we did go just a tiny bit quicker. Not much. But that is it. That's the category completed. We've done it. But yeah. I'm very surprised at the bloody low amount of credits you get from those races. That's a pretty piss poor. There we go. Stock 600 Cup in the World Series completed. Gold on all of them. All right, anyway, guys, we're going to leave this video here. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.